Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. Once again, I'm glad you're with me this morning to spend a few moments in God's Word. Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever felt lonely? Have you ever felt like there was no one who cared for you? Well, the enemy loves for us to be alone. He loves to, for us to feel lonely. And I believe the enemy wants us to feel like there's no one who cares for us. Well, God's Word tells us something different. I love what God says to us in Psalm 55, verse 22. The Bible says, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, the Bible says, Cast all of your cares upon the Lord, because He cares for you. So the enemy wants you to feel lonely. The enemy wants you to feel like there's no one who cares for you. The enemy is a liar. The devil, Satan, he's a liar. He's the father of lies. And so when those feelings begin to overwhelm you, like there's no one who cares for you, there's no one who loves you, you've got to remember what God says. God says to you, I love you. God says to you, I care for you. God invites you to cast all of your cares on him, all of your worries, all of your anxiety on him. Why? Because he cares for you. And God makes a promise to you. God says, I will sustain you. I care for you. I will sustain you. God says, I will not let you be shaken. And so I, I hope today that if you're overwhelmed with these feelings, um, these, this anxiety, this worry that, that no one loves you, that no one cares for you, my prayer is that you'll turn away from that and you'll turn to God and you'll believe what God says to you, what God says about you, and what God says for you. God cares for you. You can trust Him. God loves you. God will sustain you. God won't let you be shaken. I hope this word helps you today. It certainly helps me. I'm going to trust Him. I'm going to believe Him, and I'm going to claim that promise. God, that you will sustain me. God, that you won't let me be shaken. I'm so thankful for the truth of God's Word and how the truth sets me free to live my life fully, to live my life abundantly, to live for Him, to live for His glory. Thank you for spending some time with me today in God's Word. I look forward to being with you next Wednesday if it's the Lord's will. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your week. And let me remind you, there are only 222 more days until Christmas.